Hi folks, what we're going to do today is talk a little bit more about morning pages and how they can help you in your creativity. A lot of people say, Julia Cameron included, I think, that you shouldn't look back on your morning pages. Don't look back on your morning pages, like as if this is some kind of golden rule. But what I'm going to do is tell you how I use my morning pages to create something I'm really proud of. A couple of years ago, Ian Waits at New Compress asked me to write a short story for him. And this would be a freebie to be given away to members of a science fiction convention. Ian's been great over the years, asked me to write several short stories for him, uh, one of which was called Songbirds. This was the story of how an alien invasion affects an ordinary suburban family. Now this was really well received, my peers liked it, it was even nominated for an award. Uh, I'm not bragging, you know, because it didn't win. But um, my immediate thought when Ian asked me to write this new short story, let's do a sequel to Songbirds. Now I'd had these things knocking around in my head for years called Bloodbirds. It was kind of an evocative name, it kind of you know, evokes the sense of like vampires or something like that. It's kind of dark and sinister and that would be the perfect title. And I knew a few things as soon as he asked me. I knew that the story would be a sequel to Songbird, set some years later, that it would be a, a romance slash love story with a twist, and that the main character of focus would be a relatively young female, so say in her late 20s. So I've learned over the years to give these things space. So when it came to Bloodbirds, I just started making notes and lists and, and stuff like that. I, I didn't start writing though. I wasn't going to force it. So I'd make these notes and lists and sort of jot down ideas on scraps of paper or in notebooks. And any of the notes that I made that I felt were good, I typed up on my typewriter. Um, I've got five of them. I love typewriters, ladies and gentlemen. Me and Tom Hanks, I like that. So how do morning pages fit in? So I keep my type pages in a notebook and I take the notebook up to bed with me. And um, the last thing before I went to sleep, the absolute last thing, I'd look through the typed pages, just glance through them, read them and then stick them back in the book, put them on the bedside locker, go to sleep. And in the morning when I'd wake up, I'd do my morning pages. Uh, I wouldn't force it. I'd just see what came out. And very often, I'll tell you ladies and gentlemen, this was good stuff. Sometimes it'd be whole paragraphs. Sometimes just a sentence. An observation that I should cut something. Change something. Consider something. An idea. I'd never know what it would be. I just followed the writing. And this stuff from my morning pages, I'd highlight in the book and then I'd type that up too. And it'd get expanded upon. It was gold. And the result was a story that I'm proud of and it was selected for this best of anthology, the best of British science fiction 2020. 20, 20. <laughs> it's the best of British science fiction 2021. There we go. So that's how I use morning pages in my own creative work. And maybe you can too. If you've got any thoughts or questions, just leave them in the comments below.